Hi everybody, it's Sally. I am back from my time in England. I had a wonderful uh, three weeks and a, a great family wedding and um, really wonderful time spent with, with really dear friends and um, the weeks that followed and I just, I couldn't have asked for more. Um, but I'm home and today is my day for making my video. However, I'm making it the day ahead. <laughs> so really it's Wednesday, not Thursday, but enjoy this on Thursday because it's a good message either way. Yesterday, well, a week ago, you all know it was a birthday for me. Uh, the 26th of October was a Monday. Um, and I turned 58. The very next Monday, the day I flew home, um, was a, a surgiversary of sorts. It was my sixth year of have having of having had gastric bypass surgery. Six years. Six years. And somehow that just sort of escaped. I mean, I knew it, but I wasn't thinking about it because I was jet lagged trying to get back home and everything. But this morning I woke up and Janie had reminded me that she had made me a three year uh, surgiversary photo montage um, for me to celebrate my third year surgery, uh, post-surgery date, and how far I had come. And that was the very first year, um, I think it was the first year I was in England, because there are a few photos at the very end of the montage were, that were when I colored my hair <laughs> and was my first fall in the, in the, in the UK. Um, I'd had a little regain, but at that point, but not a lot. And, uh, and it just really inspired me it inspired me. It encouraged me. I, I, it, and it showed me how much I had really let go of the past. Um, it felt good to be celebrated. It felt good to be reminded of how far I have come and, and how far I have stayed, that I have maintained, that I have truly indeed changed my life for the better, for the healthier, and that I don't have to live in fear of losing that because I've made the permanent changes. Am I as thin as I was when I finished? No. Is that okay? Yes, it is. And I can always say that I felt that way, but it is okay. Uh, I was very thin. I was thin to the point where some people thought it didn't look well at all. I have many people say they think I'm better off now. But it's hard when you get into that number game in your head. When we set up ourselves challenges in life and we have fought the good fight and we have won in our minds, we have beaten beaten down the, um, the prison walls and we get so wrapped up in that moment of being super thin or super strong or... Um, feeling just so t on top of everything, feeling for the first time in my life that I was in a body that I was never intended for really, but the fact that I could have kind of an athletic and lithe build for a short season was something I really enjoyed. But at the time, you don't think it's gonna be a short season, you think this is who you are. But we, life is flux and life is growth and I, I um, you can't live at the mountaintop. The rest of the world is, lays beneath, spread out for, in front of you. And my journey in the last six years, and then to today, especially today, when I saw the video Janie made for me three years ago, my realization is this, and I'm just going to refer to a note that I just wrote so I don't forget. I don't spend much time looking back anymore to where I began. That was a major revelation for me this morning. As you leave that old fat person behind you and you try to, you know, you, not just physically, but emotionally, mentally, the person you were that you were living in that prison, you were in that prison for a reason. It wasn't just dis self-discipline. There were a lot of other things involved in the reason we ended up the way we were. And when you break free of that prison, and you embrace your freedom. Sometimes a little too much freedom is, you know, you can you can get a little out of control. But the point is you grow and you change and you own it 
and you're able to be comfortable in the skin and to allow a little regain and to say, it's okay, I'm not a failure, I'm not a failure. I'm wearing the same size jeans I could wear six years ago. Now, could I wear a size smaller six years ago also? Yes, I could. I could wear four, and I could wear a six. I'm okay, I can still wear a six. And, and the point is, it's not about that number, it's about the fact that I have maintained my body's not quite the same shape, it's not as toned, I'm not as strong, but I'm still healthy and fit. And I still feel really good about the future, which is what I wanted to say. Today, my realization, and I'm greenlighting my day, and celebrating the fact that, finally, at the ripe old age of 58, and six years post gastric bypass surgery, and 100, and down permanent, 100 permanently down pounds, 120 altogether, um, I don't live in the past. I don't live looking at to the past to reflect how I'm doing now. I not only look back and say, you are much thinner then, and you are not quite as thin now, and you really could get back if you just whatever, what, no. I don't do that anymore. I don't live in the past. I don't live looking back to where I came from any longer. I look more to the moment, where I am, and where I'm going where I am and where I'm going. My face is forward. I am faced forward. I am faced reflecting in the good of the moment and being grateful for the day that I have ahead of me and the people I have ahead of me in my life and the, and the, and the contacts um, where you meet someone or you, you have a moment interacting with nature or an animal or a person who smiles at you and has a kind word. Shared moments of humanity. That's the day I live in. That's the moment I live in. And then I look with joy and expectation to a wide open future where anything is still possible for me. 58 or not. Size 16 or not. I know now I don't look back to identify and to put a framework around who I am today and where I am today. Not anymore. This is who I am. This is my reality. This is my moment and my future is anything I want it to be. If I want it badly enough, it will happen. But you don't have to be living in that perpetual sense of being driven to find the next new thing. You can just open the door and walk out and encounter the next new thing when it comes to you. So today I realize I don't live in the past. I don't identify or measure my success or failure by the past. I live in the moment and I look to the future with joy and expectation. And I wish the very same for all of you. We all have baggage. We all work through stuff. We all discard it. Stop for a minute and think of all the things that you really are grateful for. And go out which is what I'm going to do right now. I have some errands to run. I wish you all the very, very best. Make it a wonderful day. And um, green light, everybody. Green light. See you next week. Bye.